believe in prophets. Prophets of God. I do as well. Uh, you believe especially in your prophet Muhammad, is that correct? Muhammad? Yes. Right. You were supposed to be asking questions. Yeah. You know, not acting as a public prosecutor, you know, what about that? You ask your question, sir, I will answer. I'll ask your question and finish it, and I will answer. Do you believe that we have a prophet in these latter days living on earth, living prophets? That's your question? Yes. Right. Thank you. Go to the back if you have another question. I will answer that. I will answer that. We believe, I don't know in the declaration that I made, there is no prophet after Muhammad. The last and final messenger of God is Muhammad. There shall be no prophet after him. He says, La Nabi Ba'di. There shall be no prophet after me. See, if a thing is complete, which we believe that the Quran is a complete guidance of God given to mankind. Once a thing is complete, anything you add to it is a monstrosity. This hand, yours and mine, perfect. God made it. Perfect. You can't add another finger, you can't add another thumb. You can't have ten more fingers to improve your hand. Anything you add to this perfect hand is a monstrosity. Similarly, in the guidance of God as given to us in the Quran, perfect teaching for all times, for all people. You can add, a prophet means a person comes along now and he can change the law. If he's God's mouthpiece, now he has a right to tell you that now you can marry your own mother. He can tell you that. If he's a prophet, he can tell you, sir, God tells me you can marry your mother, you can marry your daughter, you can marry your sister. Shh, this is no, there shall be no prophet after Muhammad. That is what we believe. No prophet after him. Small or big, no prophet whatsoever. Yes, brother, next one.